My name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is gonna be on the guitar solo from Little Wing. It's a great guitar solo. Someone put it up as a request on one of my other videos, um, so I thought I'd do it for you. It's probably been done like a million times, but I'm gonna fully break it down, play it note for note, um, teach you how to play it. But just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, and I do love to hear from you, and I do read every comment, so please leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think of the video, let me know what songs I should do next, and if you love what I'm doing, you wanna support me, support the channel, then you can support me on Patreon. I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning. Normally, Jimi Hendrix tunes his guitar down to E flat, so all down a semitone. But I'm gonna teach you it in standard tuning. Um, so if you wanna tune your guitar down a semitone, like Jimmy, then just move everything up one fret. So like that first note, instead of 14, it'll be 15. But I'm gonna play it all in standard tuning so you can play it along to the track without detuning your guitar. Okay, so the first line sounds like this. Okay, so to play that, B14, you're gonna bend it up a tone. And then you're gonna do another bend up on that B14. And then play B14 normal without a bend. So you've got one, two. And then we're gonna play B11. Then B11 hammers on to B14. So the first bar goes. into bar two and we play a B11. And then B14 bends it up and down. And then we play G11. So far you've got. Then we've got G13, we're gonna bend up a tone. Use your third finger, then use your little finger on B14. We'll go into the next bar, bar three, and bend up that G13 and then play a G13 normal. So you go. So from the beginning slowly, you got. And then another G13, G11, then G13. And you play the 13, then bend it up, drop it back down, and then bend it up. So don't bend it up straight away. Think of it as one, two, three, four. It's like four notes, so not bent, then up, then not bent, or you bring it back down, and then back up. Okay, so you got. And then you're gonna play the 13 again, already bent up, and bring it back down and then play the G11. Okay, um, there is, like on the next line, a, a D13, um, which sort of ends the phrase. So it's going on to the next line. Um, let's just play the whole line slowly, here we go. Uh, on to the next line then, and that's that D13, which kind of ends that phrase from the previous line. And then we get. Which is G11, G13, and then bend it up, so. so and then another G11, G13, D13. Then G11 hammers on to G13. And then G11 slides to 13. So you get. So from the beginning of that line goes. Or slowly. Into the next bar we've got. 
So that's G11, hammers onto G13. Nice and quickly. And then 13, slides up to 15. And then with the first finger, we're gonna slide down into uh, G11. So just like get a slide down. And then a bend on G13. So bar five goes. Into the next bar we get. Which is a really fast hammer on from uh, B11 to B12. And then you pull off to B11. And then another B12 pulls off to B11, B12 pulls off to B11. Uh, make sure you swing it. And then G11. So. And then B14, you're gonna bend it up a tone. And then B14, you hit, already bent up, drop it down. Then play a B11. So bar four goes. So the whole line, you've got. And on to the last line, the first bar, we've got. So for that, G13, bend it up tone. Keep it up and then use your little finger on E14. You can play that twice. So you go. And then we're gonna bend up that G13 again. And then an E14. So you go. And then we play G11, E12, B12, and then G11. And they sort of ring together. And then we're gonna play uh, G13 and B12 at the same time. So the whole bar slowly. Into the next bar, bar eight. There's only two beats in this bar, and you got which is your second finger on fret seven on the B string, first finger on fret six on the G string. You hit it and then quickly hammer on to the third finger on G8. Pull off, and then with your little finger play D9. So you get then it does it again, but playing triplet. Da -da -da -dum. So it's. Da -da -dum, da -da -dum. So it's almost the same both times, but just. Black boom boom. Da -da -da -dum. And then we go to. Fret 11 on the D string. Then another D11. And then this bit. which is first finger on G8, second finger on B9. You're gonna play them at the same time. Then your third finger on G10 uh, with the B9 still. So from the beginning of the bar you got. And then keep those two fingers down and then you're gonna play them. Hammer on your little finger onto fret 11 and then pull it off. And then we're gonna do a similar kind of idea of going from first finger on fret eight on the G string, second finger on B9, hammer on your third finger onto the 10 on the G string. And then play a D11 back to the G8 and B9. So a little bit tricky that bar, we've got Let's just play the whole of that line. Here we go. Oh. 
And that's a whole solo. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson and found it useful. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications. Um, and I do love to hear from you. I do read every comment. So please leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what songs I should do next. Let me know where in the world you're from. Um, and if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Well, thanks for watching this. I do appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time.